Hello again, Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to another almost personal general love reading. I hope that you're doing well. We are going to be jumping into this right away. First, we are going to be using some oracle cards just to grab the overall theme and energy between you and a significant person that you are connecting with or will be connecting with. And then we are going to be diving deep with tarot. As I give the oracle cards a quick shuffle, I just want to quickly remind you that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, please feel free to swap the roles. I could be talking about you or your person because I am simply reading energies. And lastly, Cancers, if this reading happens to resonate with you, feel free to join me over at the extended reading after this. The link to the extended reading is in the description box below. And by the way, I do customize all of the extended readings to ensure that we cover the areas that may provide the most valuable insight based on what we see in this initial reading. So with that being said, I will let you all know exactly what will be included in that extended at the end of this video, as well as give you all a bit of a sneak peek preview. Enough of me talking though, Cancer. Let's get the cards out. So overall theme and energy, please, for my Cancer Collective. What is going on for my Cancers, please? You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. Okay, this is beautiful. Before I speak, I do want to pull another oracle card here. What's going on for my Cancers, please? There is a new beginning here in one's private life, and it could be having to do with family, but I am sensing that this is someone that feels very familiar. And it could be, of course, a love interest, but there's something here about one's private life, spiritual union. This is absolutely beautiful. This is equivalent to the Two of Cups in the typical Rider weight deck. We have suffering and silence at the bottom of the deck, so I'm sensing a lot of anxiety, worries, potentially fears. I feel like this is some sort of reassuring message here for you, though, Cancer, saying that you and your loved ones are safe. You are safe. Whatever the situation is, there is a spiritual union here and it is strong. Okay, let's grab a few more cards here. Secrets involved. Okay. And we have a look within. So I feel like there's something here that you may not know about possibly some sort of information that one has figured out or come to from going within some sort of insight or there could be something here where you feel like you don't have all of the pieces all of the the information wedding Calling in your soulmate. More beautiful energy here. Move this over. One last one for my cancers, please. Unrequited love. There's okay. So this card here with chemistry at the bottom of the deck, this card here often comes up when there is a situation because this is a general reading but it may feel like something is off within a connection okay this card often comes up when there is that energy of feeling like something is not reciprocated it doesn't necessarily mean that feelings are not returned or that feelings are not mutual this is simply energy so i do feel like you may be questioning someone here i feel like there is a situation for some of you you may be married to this person or you see that potential there you may very well feel as though this person is your soulmate i'm not seeing any particular indication of whether or not there's communication at this time at least not yet so you may be in communication with this person maybe you are not but there's definitely chemistry here in general with this person and 
you may feel like you have this very spiritual union. But there is some sort of new beginning here in terms of one's private life or feelings deep down. I feel as though there is some sort of information coming to the surface here. Okay? Some sort of information may be revealed. And I feel like it may be around someone's feelings here or what is really going on in a situation. Possibly if you have been feeling as though someone's energy has been a bit off here. Okay? So that is what I'm seeing so far. So what I want to do is get out the tarot and see what is really going on here so that we can dive deep. So let's, oops. This just wanted to fly out off the bat. The Hierophant in the reverse and the Ten of Cups. So we're gonna take it. This is, I was not expecting that at all. So there may be a situation here where there is this sense of happiness or there has been with someone. But with the Hierophant in the reverse, this may indicate that there is a lack of commitment here or a misalignment with values and beliefs. Three of Swords, Two of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm going to fix the table in just a moment here, Cancer. Two of Wands in the reverse. Okay. Page of wands in the reverse the hermit virgo energy okay let me fix this very quickly all right cancers so before i start clarifying i'm going to give you all a very brief overview of what i am seeing so far as well as call out uh, the zodiac signs that have popped out so far so for the zodiac signs we do have Taurus and Virgo with the Hierophant in the reverse and the Hermit. And then we also have Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy as well uh, for the general fire page of ones in the reverse. So overall, Cancer, I feel as though there is a very special connection here. And you and your person do experience this bliss, this harmony, this happiness. However, at this time, there is some sort of lack of alignment between you two. It may feel as though you two are on different pages, possibly in terms of commitment or desiring something traditional. There is definitely a sense of heartbreak showing up here with the Three of Swords. So I'm sensing that there has been some sort of heartbreak or loss and it may have happened within this connection already or someone may be dealing with some sort of past heartbreak that they are still healing from or possibly for some of you both. This situation was definitely mismanaged with the two of pentacles in the reverse in some sort of way. When we clarify, we'll check out what exactly that is. And I am sensing that you know despite all of this there is this true happiness between the two of you that potential that connection even though the circumstances the situation in this time you know as i said there may be this sense of heartbreak or loss but the connection is still there now for you and your person there's definitely at this time this energy of stagnation your person may be coming off a bit indecisive. There may be a lack of planning, a lack of communication, a lack of way forward. And you showing up as the page of wands in the reverse, and, and feel free to swap the roles if it makes sense here, but I am sensing that you may be biting your tongue here on something. I know not speaking up about something here. You may want to take some sort of action or have some sort of action in mind or some sort of plan but you may not be doing so or just feeling like the timing isn't right yet. Okay. It looks like there is some meaningful soul searching around the corner that may be bringing in some valuable insight. There is this general energy of looking within and really exploring something a bit deeper here. And I do feel like it is related to the answers that you are seeking as well as 
this meaningful connection in general. I mean, we have the Ten of Cups and spiritual union, which is Two of Cups. I feel like this hesitation has to do with some sort of past heartbreak or past outside influence, but of course we have to clarify, we have to see what this really is. But I really want to dive into this Cancer. I want to explore and clarify all of these cards, so we will do that and then we'll dive deep and see what is really going on here. All right, Cancers, let's get into this. So I just want to quickly say that I did draw all of the cards on camera for that transparency, of course. However, I did turn them over in piles just so that the table does not get too overwhelming for your eyes or mine. And the reason why I draw the cards all at once is because for me as a reader, it does improve my accuracy when I can see the full picture of everything and what is going on. So that's why I do things the way that I do. But like I said, I did draw all of those cards on camera for transparency and we will go through everything one by one in depth. So let's get started here. So for the recent past, now for some of you this may be the more distant past, take what resonates. For others of you, you may be currently on this timeline right now and dealing with the situation. But we have the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the High Priestess, Cancerian Pisces energy, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Star in the reverse, Aquarian energy. So I feel like with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, there was a situation, as I previous, previously said, that was mismanaged. Someone may have tried to hide something or sweep it under the rug with this High Priestess energy, okay? This definitely feels a bit messy. Someone could have put walls up or even gotten a bit defensive here with the Seven of Wands. And it may have been out of insecurity, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? I'm definitely sensing that someone here, they were doing their best to stay in control of a situation. I heard bide time. But there was definitely some sort of lack of transparency and I feel like someone didn't speak up about something because it would have led to a situation of self-doubt or lack of fulfillment of one's wishes. High Priestess, uh, Ace of Pentacles, the star in the reverse. I'm sensing that there's someone here who really cares what you think or what the consequences may have been if some sort of information may have been revealed here. I do want to pull an oracle card. Please tell me more about this. Shattered. Separation at the bottom of the deck. So for some of, some of you, there may have been a fear of actual, like, full separation. Maybe for some of you, there was. But with Shattered, this card... It's it's the sense of feeling like what you had planned was completely shattered. And this can be an energy of shock and surprise. So something that you may not have been expecting kind of it may have changed a lot here. And for some of you, it may not have been necessarily good or necessarily bad. It may just have been some sort of information that changed the game. It may have been this reality check or wake-up call of some sort of information where you felt as though you didn't have all of the information. Or maybe for some of you, you did find out about something here that did lead to a lack of wish fulfillment. For some of you, you may have found out about this. For some of you, you may not have. And you may have just felt deep down in your gut, you know, using your intuition that 
whatever the situation was, it wasn't going to be what you expected or it wasn't going to bring in that wish fulfillment. For some of you, because I'm getting several different storylines here, there may have been some sort of situation where someone's true colors came out, especially when you saw how someone handled a particular situation or how they went about a particular situation. That's what I'm getting here. Something happened here, either you intuitively just felt it or something was revealed. Because now I feel as though there is a situation here and for some of you, this may have led to separation. Maybe it didn't, but something definitely felt a bit off. And this may be where your intuition kicked in and you may be feeling like, yes, this is a special connection, but I feel like I don't have all of the information. Is there something I don't know with the secrets involved? Is this unrequited love? Is there a third party? What's going on here? Because I feel like in the current situation, with the devil in the reverse is Capricorn energy, we have Taurus, as I mentioned before, with the Hierophant in the reverse. And we have also Cups energy, so water energy, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But I feel like someone, despite feeling like there is this deep connection, someone could be... There's really this energy of someone feeling afraid to give up their independence here in some way, shape, or form. And I get that because, of course, I prefer to see the devil in the reverse, but when it's paired with the page of cups in the reverse, this is someone who may be acting a bit emotionally immature, not necessarily connected to their intuition, maybe experiencing creative blocks, and may not be opening up emotionally. With the Hierophant in the reverse, it really is the sense of, yes, there's this happiness here, but at the same time, you know, I feel like um, there's someone here that may be afraid of commitment or really dealing with some fears. And because of those fears, that they're, they're showing up emotionally immature. Tell me more about this, please. Synchronicity. Tell me more, please. Quality time. Interesting. You know, we're going to use a different deck here because I... Whoops. I specifically want to know about this Ten of Cups. Why are you showing me the Ten of Cups here? I just want to clarify something. Okay, I see what this is. There's a page of cups in the reverse showing up yet again, and then the page of pentacles in the reverse. Queen of pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like for some of you, there may be some communication. You may be staying positive at this time. For some of you, you may, like I said, be in communication, spending time with this person, but not for all of you, okay? Overall, there is this acknowledgement that there is this very special connection where there is this emotional happiness. But at the same time, someone here may be acting a bit emotionally immature. Now, someone may be going back and forth here because I still feel like there is this energy of procrastination, of immaturity. There could have been this sense of a step back here for some of you, but I really feel like you feel like something is off here, whatever this is. If I'm picking up so many different storylines, so if this is resonating with you, please let me know below in the comments, okay? But there's something here about quality time and the the way that one spends quality time. So someone could be, like I said, 
pulling their energy back a bit here. Because this quality time talks about, well, how we spend our quality time and what is quality time. Well, that's subjective, okay? Some may value quality time with others more than others do. But this card is also about getting lost in time with someone, spending that time together, really enjoying it. And so when this card shows up, it is asking, how are you spending your time? Who are you spending it with? Do you value your time as well as the time of others? So you may be in a situation where it feels good, but at the same time, there is this lack of alignment in some way, shape, or form. And the synchronicity card, you know, synchronicities are about those meaningful coincidences, okay? Simultaneous occurrences of, of events or just things that appear important or significant, but they, th there is no discernible causal connection, you know, cause and effect, or there's no way to really see how they're linked. But there is this inner knowing. And it can come from so many things, but things that, you know, you may see day to day that feel like are just signs, like you're getting signs from the universe. And so you may be seeing signs from the universe at this time that may be showing you something, especially if you're on the right path. And there also may be clues for what is to come. So for example, you may be seeing uh, numbers like 333 or 444 or something like that when you are thinking about something specific. Try to catch yourself. Try to, when you see certain signs from the universe, Try to recall what you were thinking about right when you saw those numbers or that sign or whatever it is, right? So pay attention to the signs, the symbols that you're getting from the universe. And you'll recognize them by how they make you feel. And, and you will feel like they are demanding your attention. So you may be weighing things out here. Why someone possibly a fire sign, but that's not necessary, or water or an earth sign. I mean, we have so many things popping up here. I feel though there's this happiness, but there's this going back and forth of why someone is acting a particular way, why there may be procrastination, why there may be, you know, someone that is not necessarily showing up in the most mature way. You may be feeling as though you're being pulled back and forth, like a part of you feels as though, okay, this person just has a lot going on or this or that. Well, another part of you may be feeling as though, I guess this is a general reading, so we'll say, you know, you may be veering towards more negative reasons for something here. But I do feel that overall, there is this spiritual connection that is very meaningful. You may have just seen signs in the past here using your intuition that something shattered your hopes or feeling as though it wasn't going to pan out the way that you were hoping and following in to the present moment, you may still be experiencing this these happy moments with this person or knowing that this person, you know, there's a spiritual union, but you're still going back and forth because there are these particular signs that you are seeing. Now, what's helping or hindering the situation? The Three of Swords, the Five of Cups, Three of Cups, and the Four of Swords in the reverse. There's definitely sadness here. And it may have to do with the social circle or some sort of outside influence with the Three of Cups. I'm wondering here, did someone pull their energy back and go towards a third party? Now, this could just be friends, though. Like, this person is, is spending more time on their own or doing something here and, and investing less time with you or that's your perception. 
But with the Four of Swords in the reverse, I do feel as though there is a lot of mental, um, I heard friction or a lot of mental gymnastics going on. It is this, it's a bit of this like mental overload, uh, things feeling a bit uneasy. But when you, I'm sensing that for some of you, this person could have been spending more time with you. And now it's like, you're feeling them switch up like their energy is changing at this and and you could be missing spending time with this person because you may be feeling as though this person is pulling away optimism we'll pull one more here know your worth so yeah i feel like someone is a bit in their feelings here Someone may be trying to, you know, remain optimistic and so forth. But it, the thing is, is you know your worth and you have to remind yourself of that. Okay. This is very important at this time. Because although optimism, you know, it can get a bad rep for being unrealistic. But the truth is you can be realistic and still be optimistic about the outcome. Okay. Okay. Because it allows you to keep your vibrations high and trust that whatever the outcome may be, it is for your greater good. And it's about trusting the process, trusting the universe, and expecting things to work out for you however it may look. So when you expect great things, you open yourself up to being able to receive beautiful energy. So there is a lot about persevering at this time. And this card here, safe deposit department, myself and I value priceless. Know your worth. View yourself as that luxury slash expensive item. Treat yourself as something that is truly priceless. Because every healthy relationship, it, it starts off with a strong sense of self and really knowing your worth. So don't forget this at this time because I do feel like there's this heartbreak and this sadness. You may be missing this person. Whether that's because less time is being spent, not really hearing from this person as much. That gut feeling that you're having about something. Or even this person taking their time away and maybe spending it elsewhere whatever this is there is some sadness here i want to ask more about this what is this what is this about could be about a water sign what's the seven of swords So someone may have been acting a bit selfish here, really strategizing what is their happiness. There may have been some sort of emphasis on goals. But with the Seven of Swords, the, the Seven of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles, I don't like this. Why is this showing up here? Someone, I, I feel like there may have been some illusions or some confusion. Someone may be feeling left out in the cold. It may have felt as though someone snuck away. Someone was acting a bit selfish and it's like this person may have just gone towards something else here. I, I'm just getting this image of something shiny. I'm not seeing any sort of third party situation, but I feel as though this person, they're acting a bit selfish and they may have left you in the dark 
around why they left you out in the cold or answers. They didn't provide answers here. There may not have been a complete ending and it may have felt as though things were left up to you to provide your own closure in some way, shape, or form. But with the Ten of Wands in reverse, it may have felt like something needed to be put down. There definitely could have been some confusion around, you know, what's going on. I feel like this person, especially with the High Priestess, they may have turned the other way or acted in a selfish way. And they did not let you know what was going on. They just, they were strategizing selfishly here. They may not have wanted this to come to an end, but at the same time, I feel like this person, they need to go through some sort of inner transformation here. There's a big lesson coming in for this person that they are going to learn. There is this energy though of this person not providing not providing necessary clarity that you would have wished for. And I'm not seeing exactly what's going on here yet, but I feel like this person did not end things. They did not provide closure. They just kind of, and they may have uh, with this page of wands upright, they may have told you something. They may have told you that, you know, they have a lot going on, this or that or whatever it is that they were under stress, that they needed to de-stress, put something down. But I feel like this person was not very transparent with you. So what we're gonna do here, Cancer, is we're going to take a look at you and your person at the same time. And we're gonna go back and forth like a bit of a uh, energetic dialogue. Your person is going through some sort of tower moment here. They're represented by the two of wands in the reverse, the king or the six of wands, the nine of wands in the reverse, and the tower. Okay. You are being represented by the page of wands in the reverse, the king of swords, the two of swords, and the six of pentacles in the reverse. So let's, off the bat, I do want to pull one card for each. Dead end. For you. Forgiveness. And then we're going to... Oops, I think I have some smaller cards here that I want to put back into the pile and use... This is my clarification deck. Make sure you can see all of this. So I want to know more specifically about the tower. I keep drawing major arcana, that's why I keep pulling more and more, but the Ace of Swords, Justice in the reverse, Libra energy, the world in the reverse, uh, fixed sign energy, so Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Three of Wands, the Moon in the reverse, Cancer, Pisces energy, one last one, unless it's a major arcana here. Okay. And I want to know more about, very quickly, why are you in this Two of Swords? Yeah, I think, yes. The Chariot, Cancerian Energy, Scorpio with Death, and Capricorn with the Devil. So I actually had to pause the video for just a moment to take this all in, but Cancer... I feel like you are at this crossroad feeling a bit of this stalemate energy 
And you are looking at all of this very logically though, knowing that you may not have all of the information about a situation that does feel unfair and you may be waiting for things to further unfold, okay? You may have things that you want to say or speak up about just for some of you, but you may not be doing so. There is this stalemate energy with the Two of Swords. And it may be because you feel as though, as I said, you don't have all of the information, but you also have someone here who is not at least energetically, like you feel as though either you two are on different pages or there is not that equal give and take, right? So you feel like this person isn't matching your energy. I feel like you don't feel that, that energy that is as welcoming, I guess you could say. That's just for some of you. And so with the stalemate energy, you may not be able to make a decision of which way you should go at this time. But as I said, I do feel like you are holding on to the hope of additional information coming out, things unfolding, possibly waiting for this person to take some sort of action. So you may be waiting in this energy and as you have been doing so, I feel as though you have been slowly detaching a bit, more so focusing on you letting go, not feeling so wrapped up in emotional energy because we do, we don't really have much emotion here. Although we do have this forgiveness card, which I'll go over in, in just a moment, but I feel as though you're looking at things very logically. And I'm proud of you for doing that, realizing that sometimes the best decision is to allow things to just naturally unfold and actions don't always need to be taken. Sometimes it's inaction that will bring us the answers that we need, right? And so I feel as though, as I said, you may have been slowly detaching a bit, focusing on you, letting go, realizing that it's all you can really do at this time, right? Now with this forgiveness card, you know, forgiveness is about freeing yourself from burdens of resentment or vengeance or just holding on to what someone has done. Forgiveness doesn't excuse others for what they've done it's it's really not real it's not about others okay this includes forgiving yourself and it's an act of progression not allowing what happened to hold you back or have a hold on you that's what it's really about and it's a choice and it's something that must be done at your own pace and when you feel it's right at the same time I do feel as though with this forgiveness card, you have been, like I said, letting go, but you also may be open to forgiving this person if they showed up in the right ways, okay? And I do feel as though you are really hoping that this person will come in and come in with new energy, possibly an explanation. Now your person down here with the two of wands in the reverse, the six of wands, the nine of wands in reverse, and the tower. And we have the ace of swords, justice in reverse, the world in the reverse, three of wands, the moon in the reverse, and six of pentacles here. I feel like your person is a bit indecisive and they definitely see some sort of opportunity to go for something with the six of wands, but there is this overthinking, possibly a bit of paranoia with this, this nine of wands in the reverse. I heard vulnerability as well about something leading to some sort of tower moment or some sort of collapse based on their actions. With the ace of swords, I feel like this may be very much related to some sort of clarity related 
um, to this injustice in some sort of situation where there was a lack of closure, lack of real understanding, something that was left open, okay? I feel like with the Three of Wands, though, this person with this behind them, they are looking outward. The Three of Wands speaks of expansion. So this person may be looking outward to reveal some sort of information, possibly emotionally. And the Moon in Reverse often indicates some sort of revealing of something that was hidden or something coming to light especially if there was confusion around it. So I feel like this person may be wanting to reveal some sort of information through back and forth, equal give and take, or interaction between the two of you, okay? So I feel like this, this person is wanting to bring in some sort of clarity regarding something that may have caused confusion in the past. I feel like this person... It's like they may not have been transparent they are, are truthful or they may not have been open and honest about everything in the past. But now I just feel like this person was not in alignment when they made particular decisions. I'm not justifying it. What I'm saying is that this person is, is they're not they're not letting it go. It's it's still on their mind, you know that they need to kind of go back and revisit previous decisions and the consequences of their actions. With Dead End, this card is about redirection and it's an opportunity to pause and realize that continuing in the same direction is not going to make progress. So I feel like this person knows that if they continue on the same path, it's not gonna change anything. It's not gonna help the situation, okay? I feel like this person may be overthinking. They don't want to cause some tower moment and it may have to do with how they deliver some sort of information or come in, possibly even your response. And it may be this person's worry or stress or overthinking that is, is really allowing them to show up in this page of cups in reverse energy of not acting so emotionally mature that there that there may be immaturity here and this person like kind of pulling away there could be regret here there could be um like this person there's guilt i'm sensing guilt but as i was saying this dead end it does indicate stagnation, which I'm seeing on your person's end. But a new path is is always revealed here. Okay, you can't even if there was a dead end. It's it's technically a miss, or sorry, it's um realigning. It's it's taking someone in a new direction, and it gives one the chance to sit back and figure out what one's next moves will be considering the circumstances. And when I asked about this tower, I, I feel like this is about clarifying or bringing in some sort of, you know, information about something that felt unfair where things were left open. Something that you may have been suspicious about previously. So I feel like this person is, is really trying to be careful with how they go about things. And because they're so, they're really overthinking it with the nine of wands in reverse, it's leading to this stuck stagnant energy. And so I feel like it is you who is technically waiting on this person. So let's check out the outcome here, which we'll dive deeper into the extended, but We've got the Hermit, the Five of Swords, the Eight of Wands in Reverse, the Page of Swords, and the Ace of Swords in Reverse. And then I ask specifically more about the Five of Swords because I want to figure out if this is more of an internal thing or if this was um, some sort of betrayal here. And we got the Nine of Swords. But I want to know more about this Ace of Swords in the reverse. Mm -hmm. 
strength and reverse leo energy and the eight of wands up or okay so this person they're going around and around and around in their head what is this nine of swords what is this about Yeah, there may have been some incons. I feel like this person, th this may have had to do with betrayal, some sort of loss. It really felt like this person was not on your team, but rather against you. It may have caused a lot of anxiety, keeping someone laid up at night. I feel like this person is looking at this. They are feeling the sadness <sighs> because they didn't, they didn't manifest correctly here. They did not put in their efforts. Um, sorry, not efforts, they did not have a clear path for their energy and what it is that they were manifesting. There was a lot of misplaced energy here. Yeah, an imbalance. There may have been some extremes as well. This person could have been inconsistent in and out. So I feel like this person is looking at this conflict that they're dealing with and this anxiety about decisions that they've made. And... Whatever is causing this delay for this person to come in and say something, I feel like this person is working through a lot of confusion within themselves and this person needs to find the strength to really go after their own mindset and work through something here. I feel like what this is really showing is that this person is doing some soul searching, they're doing the inner work, they're reflecting on some sort of betrayal that occurred here that was not fair, it was very imbalanced. And I, it feels like now it, it's bringing them guilt and regret, but it's like they have to sort through this because they're, this is what's holding them back from coming in. Eight of Wands in reverse, it's following this. It's slowing them down, this is the block for them. They need to deal with what's going on internally and that will help them gain clarity on what should be said here. Because with the, the Knight of Swords in reverse, I mean, this person's going around and around and around in their head, there's indecision. So I feel like this person, um, <laughs> they're working through a lot here. one card love in the reverse connection though so with these cards this is really talking about this connection is still persisting here, okay, with connection upright. No matter what, this connection is still felt, no matter how knotted this string gets, right? But with love in the reverse, this indicates skepticism or feeling doubts or even a blocked heart chakra, okay? And with friendship in the reverse, friendship Let's talk about this because friendship is a strong foundation in which any other relationship, a deeper relationship can flourish, okay? This card, yes, it represents platonic energy, but even platonic energy in a partnership or relationship. Sorry about that, Cancers. I actually ran out of storage space, so I had to deal with that, but let's get back into this. So as I was saying, to any healthy, strong, relationship is an underlying strong friendship okay so although this card often represents platonic energy in a relationship it's really about developing that underlying framework that underlying energy that supports a strong romantic relationship or partnership okay and with this connection card I'm just sensing that there is a connection here 
that can't help but be felt and it may be a bit unexplainable to to you or your person or both of you and regardless of time or distance or the attempts to walk away this card i mean it, it's really giving me the, the vibes that this person may have really not thought out the consequences of their actions or even consider that they could possibly regret something here or just a general lack of mindfulness. But as I was saying, um, I feel like this person is, is drawn back to you. And there are important lessons here and there's a lot of potential for growth. I feel like this person is looking into all this and they are really working through they're doing a lot of soul searching and a lot of looking within there could have definitely been some sort of self-sabotage and now it's wrapped up here in, in regret and realizing how this is leading them to a situation that i don't think they they considered here but now this person knows that they have to be careful where they step or how they they um, move forward here. It could definitely feel like this connection is a bit on eggshells a little bit for some of you, or that it is a bit fragile or delicate because of the lack of, of previous mindfulness. So that's what I'm really getting so far. So Cancers, we are going to be taking this over to the Extended. Keep watching for a preview of that, of course. But in that Extended, we are going to be exploring all sorts of things. And as I previously mentioned, this Extended will be completely customized based on what we saw here and what I feel may provide the most valuable insights. So we're going to be exploring the basics, but also a whole lot more including the basics of you know feelings how this person feels deep down intentions as well you know what are their intentions here but i also want to take a look at blockages or blocks you know what may be holding this person back what they may be dealing with internally we're also going to be taking a look at what you may not know about this person or situation that you should know that may be helpful so just some information to put in your back pocket and I want to know more about this unrequited love as well as secrets involved and more into why this showed up here, okay? We're also going to be diving deep into the outcome a bit more. So we saw that this person's doing some soul searching and looking within, possibly related to this, this past betrayal or this pain and this inner conflict that they're dealing with. But what may come next, okay? So... We're going to take a look at the uh, long term, the potential long term as well. We're also going to be using some timing techniques to uh, just check out some time frames in which you may experience heightened activity or um, energy within this connection in which, you know, events may manifest. And then, of course, I never leave you guys hanging, so if anything else comes up along the way, we'll dive deep into that. And we're also going to be taking a look at some guidance and advice. So regardless of where you're at in the situation, whether um, you know, you're in communication with this person at this time, you're not, whatever it may be, you may feel a bit more confident navigating whatever comes your way. So, Cancers... That's what we are going to be exploring. And like I said, if anything else comes up along the way, we'll dive into that as well. But the link is below in the description box. I hope to see you there. If not, then I hope that this reading was able to provide you with, with some uh, clarity and insight into your situation. And also, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Your support means more to me than you will ever know. And it really, really helps grow the channel. So... Thank you so much, Cancers. I love you all so much, and I will see you next time. Bye. They know that you are looking at these delays, blocked communication, lack of answers, whatever this is, right? And they know that they, but this person is dealing with some sort of anxiety. Maybe this person disconnected. Maybe for some of you, this person blocked you, removed you, or there was some sort of disconnect that happened 
this person sees you as someone who's very intuitive. It's it's almost like this person knows that if they try to hide, they're being strategic. That's the one thing that you need to know here is that this person is. There's a lot going on here behind the scenes that... So there is this beauty in sitting in your throne here. Male or female, it doesn't matter. And really stepping into this glowing beautiful energy can be this recognition and reward of all the energy that you put forth for this person and possible realizations that this person was indeed taking you for granted in some way shape or form